Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. I'm Burning Dog Face. And as you can see, nobody's happy in Black Velvetopia. Before I go after that card, I might as well do the right thing and just ask the guy if he will save the day. So we're going up here to meet with Dingo Inflagrante. Sorry, Inflagrande. There we go. I didn't know those made noises as they bounced. Huh. I mean, you know, now that I'm starting to see some of the, the, the symbolism here, I mean, this is clearly just Edgar's head. With horns and a nose ring. I like the mixture of matador stuff and cheerleader stuff. And also a little picture of the woman in the sky. Uh, what am I doing? This. Why am I doing this? That. Sorry! Got it. I would pet you to apologize, but, you know. Apparently that's not an option? Can I not? No. Hello? It's written backwards. Spare... I don't know. I'll just take a screenshot of that. There we go. I'll just flip that horizontally later on. Turns out it says Space Wars. And, uh, I belatedly realized that, uh, the figments are reversible, so I probably could have just walked around to the other side. <laughs> because I see this behind me. Got it. Uh, Dingo, you're not actually here! Excuse me. Oh, there you are. And I missed one of those, so I'm glad I came back. Okay, first of all, I am not having a conversation right next to one of these guys. There you go. Man, Edgar, nobody cares that you skipped leg day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... Under a lot of stress in this area. This guy's mind is... Really punishing. Which, uh, doesn't feel like a coincidence. Ah, you must be the towel boy. You want an autograph? I don't just hand those out. And that's a good lesson for you. Anticipate disappointment. Take me. I'm the greatest bullfighter who's ever lived. Yet my upcoming match against the town bull has received virtually no marketing support. A towering advertisement was supposed to have been painted just outside my window. But as you can see, the job hasn't even been started. I think that bull is trampling anyone who tries to paint on the wall. Maybe you could stop it. Hmm. So instead of challenging the bull before a stadium packed with screaming women, you want me to fight it on the street in front of one dog and one child wearing a crude towel boy disguise. That's a terrible idea. Here's a better one. You go get that billboard painted and I'll reward you handsomely, which is how I do everything. As an advance, I'll give you one of my secret weapons. Use it if anyone gets stubborn. Huh. You can cloud the minds of others using the power of confusion, but if you use it too much, you will need to pick up more confusion grenades to energize the confusing aspect of your mind. Huh. Well, I mean... I mean, the guy is, uh, the embodiment of everything Edgar hates. Did you really think he was going to help us? He sees me as a tiny matador. 
I was genuinely expecting a towel boy. Whee! I loved doing this when I was a kid. There were fewer backflips than I did it, admittedly. Hang on, that's not really a picture. And that's not really the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Wait. That actually says Dingo in El Odio. Hey, uh, we really gotta get that billboard painted. Okay, man, here's the plan. Step one, I quit, we. Step two, we, which is now just you, runs out there and gets killed painting the billboard. Maybe I can distract the bull while you paint. It's so crazy, it just might work. Or maybe it's so crazy that it's just extra crazy. There's absolutely no way I'm going out there, man. Come on, you're a bulldog. Show some backbone. Plus, who wants to go for a walk? Who wants to go for a walk? Bulldog. Rain. All right, let's go. Great. When I say go, boy, get moving. Well, I'm not just going to do it just to get him hurt, because that would actually make him angry at me, and I don't want that. This is not a great angle for this. I made it! Aha! Success! Oh, right, I can't take Steam screenshots. Ah, well. That feels like it should have had a sound effect, but okay. Da na! You got the thing. Got it. We'll have Edgar thinking clearly in no time. Oh, all right. Go, boy! Of course I was going to take it with him. Do you really think I would make him even madder by not getting hit myself? Yep. Fine, let's solve this the old-fashioned way, by following main objectives. The Queen of Spades! Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! King Kong Cobra is not a bad name. Gotta give him that. Nice headgear, freak. What? What? You suck, Tegu. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my concentration, wimp. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look, I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. You're an idiot, Smegley. Coach, oh. your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously, I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. Okay. I mean, I can immediately see where this is going. He sees me as a nerdy Edgar. Okay, that, that makes sense. Let's try the old-fashioned methods. Where'd you go, Smegly? Because I didn't. You can't hurt me at all. Because the coach taught me how to concentrate on not feeling the pain. Hmm. That's, uh, horrifying, for the record. Not like you, Smegly. You feel everything. Like when your girlfriend, Lana, dumped you for that cheerleader guy. You felt that so bad, you blew the state semifinals. You let all us wrestlers down. That's why we hate you. You oh. got confused, oh. You let your guard down. And then you got torn apart like this. Ow.
I can't feel a thing. That is what they all say. I'm really glad I put that off until I'd met that guy. Damn it, it's randomizing my powers again. As a reminder, no one's ever gonna beat Cobra without breaking his concentration. All right, you shit. How about this? Ow. My leg. All right, I, I'm really having a problem with that attack since I don't even seem to need to be facing him for him to hypnotize me. Need your analysis on a hostile. What kind? The Cobra Wrestler resist attacks. That Cobra Wrestler resists attacks. Yeah, that concentration yap he's given don't mean a thing if you can hit him with a nice confusion grenade. But he's trying to remember his name. He's vulnerable. Yeah, that's what I figured. I was kind of hoping. You've been very helpful. That's all I need. Good luck. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to put this on that button because... Oh, yeah. Well, then, in the meantime... As a reminder, no one's ever gonna beat Cobra without breaking his concentration. I mean, like that? Never break my concentration. You mean like that? <laughs> I beat you just like I did in high school, loser. Wait, who am I? I'm standing too close for that last one. Cobra Bites! You know, I was actually going to cry foul for putting Eagle third instead of fourth. Because surely the joke should be that the one who only says one thing should be the last one. You know, combo breaker and all that. But okay, put the one who talks to me like I'm Edgar there. Make things clearer and clearer. I get it. Notice that the kings are Edgar and the jacks are, uh, D Dingo. Hey, maybe this will help. Here you go, Edgar. The last card. Thank you. You said you would get them, and you did. Not everyone is as true to their word, you know. Well, now you can finish your tower. Yes. Now this can all end. Once and for all. like you can walk right up there now, Edgar. Edgar? Edgar? Huh. I mean, this isn't actually going to solve anything. We know that now. All of his problems seem to stem from his girlfriend leaving him in high school. You know, everyone hating him for... just for losing a game when he was, uh, emotionally compromised. Uh... I wonder if I can... Since this is the only opportunity I'm ever going to get, I wonder if I can see what she sees me as. No. I knew you would save me someday. He just won't let me go. Tell me, how did you kill him? Kill who? El Odio. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Edgar? I was afraid it was that beard and that little mustache. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay.
Hey. He can only be by the traditional dual fighting weapon. Uh, that's not good. Oh. Here's all these spikes in the ground. Oh. Get up, Raz! Actually, yeah, okay. Oh, uh... No. Oh, no, I'm a red cape! I, I, I like that. It's very funny, but oh. No, I can take the ball without doing this. Without asking forward. Up yours! Bring it! Thank you for preparing the bull, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off easily. Edgar, listen. There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo. What? You can't let the Junior Varsity Pep Squad ruin your life. Um, what's up with the Junior? Yeah, we were full on Varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! o. Give me a B. They B. stole Give me my a happiness! Give me an L. My life! Give me an the o. state semi-finals! Everything! No! Wait! Edgar! Ha ha ha! He never learns. Oh no! I can't believe I stuck four of those barbed poles in his back. They're called banderillas. I gotta get those out of there and protect Edgar. If something happens to him while I'm in his mind, I'll get the boot. I mean, also he'll die, but you know. Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. Ow! Can't get a, can't get a Not get you. Get this I might need some help with. Huh? Need your analysis on a hostel. What kind? Oh. You've been very helpful. You That's know, he Good didn't luck. say anything about Kochamara either. I think. So, uh, maybe it said he just doesn't give advice on boss fights. I could see that. That's, uh, I can respect that. Can't get a good grip. Okay. What am I not seeing? Damn. He is invincible. No. Fuck. I've got a whole array of abilities and I don't know what to... Oh, shit! Of course it's this one. Hit him! Look! Gow! Here comes Elodio! Ow! Elodio's hit! Look out! 
Here comes. Ow! Elodio doesn't like that. Yeah, I think he likes it just fine. Yeah, once I saw the little swirly mustache in one of Edgar's paintings, I had a feeling, but I, uh... Really, really wanted to be wrong. Oh, right, I have to do the other thing first. Uh... Look out! Ow! Right in Elodio's butt! <laughs> Why is it funnier just because he said the word butt? Look out! Ow! Elodio is... Dying. <laughs> Whoa. It's all right. It's okay. We'll win the game some other day. Ah, <laughs> uh, please. Edgar, look at them. They're too pathetic to hurt you anymore. Can't you just let it go? How embarrassing. I can't believe I was hung up for so long over these losers. Um, uh, uh, I always loved you more? <laughs> That's what it looks like when you put someone out of your mind. Signed, Edgar Pegle. Hell yeah! When you deliver this to my Patronas, you may also hand him my farewell, for I am checking myself out of here. You have unchained my mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude by painting you a real work of art. No ball. <laughs> you make light of my mental problems, and still, I have no rage. Amazing. <laughs> God damn it. Dog's playing poker. God damn it. Oh, hey, Edgar's there, too. Yeah, I'll bring this to uh, Dr. Lobato. Sure thing. Can I like psychic that or hmm. I'm not getting anything. I must be out of range or something. Hey, I like it. Oh jeez. Ah, you see, the poor dumb beasts have no thumbs, so I ask you, how are they holding their cards? Uh st uh sticky paws? It should be impossible. And yet somehow they go on. Playing the game. In the end, Rasputin, aren't we all just dogs playing poker? I mean, I figured that was for the disguise thing. I didn't think he would literally wear it on his face. Also, I'm kind of disappointed there because I was totally expecting he said, I'm taking my farewell. He was just going to rip the chain out of the floor. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you carry on on that. I guess the dogs were in his head before, because he really, really wanted to paint that. But, uh... Well, you know, all of his problems were getting in the way. Now, this isn't enough, obviously. He rattled off, like, four or five different things, but... For the record... Just so we can feel like we accomplished something. Greetings, Dr. Labotta. Good to see your face. One moment. If you're Dr. Labotta, where's your... Strappy jacket. Did you have a human hand reattached to your arm? Or oh, you inmates are getting ever more clever, but you still can't fool old Crispin Whitehead. I'm an orderly, you know. I am not an imposter. Good day. Oh, why won't that guy just shut up? Ah. <sighs> I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you, oops, on the next episode of Let's Play Psychonauts, when we try and get our hands on that brain. Later.